Okay, here's a trapezium rule question. We have got a function which is uh, ln 2 plus cos x. Um, it's between 0 and pi. Figure 1 shows the curve between 0 and pi. Complete the table for the points on the curve given the y values to four decimal places. Then it says give your answers to three decimal places. Estimate the area of the region using the trapezium rule with one strip, two strips, four strips. And then it says at the end, making your reasoning clear, suggest a value to 2dp for the actual area bounded by the curve and the coordinate axes. Okay, so let's give this question a go. The nice thing about this question is it actually drew the table out for us and is asking us to do the trapezium rule sort of uh, using that uh, table. So here we go. Part A. All we've got to do for part A is we've got to copy and complete this table. When we put in zero into this function, we're working out ln of uh, 2 plus cos zero, which turns out to be 1.0986. Uh, now let's work out ln of, uh, for this part here, we're working out ln of 2 plus cos pi by 4. Now remember that your calculator must be in radians. So plus cos pi over 4. And you get yourself to four decimal places, 0 0.9959. And when we put in pi by 2, five decimal places you get 0 0.69315 and when you put in 3 pi by 4, 3 pi over 4 you get 0 0.25688 okay so we filled in our table there now what we're going to do is we're going to answer uh, the rest of the question there about working out the trapezium rule. Okay, so um, let's rub this out, and we're doing part B. We're using one strip here, one strip. So h is going to be zero. Uh, so it's going to be pi take away zero all over one which is pi. So it's going to go up in pi, so x0 is going to be 0 and x1 is going to be equal to um, pi. Okay, so if we're using the trapezium rule with one strip, it's simply going to be the area is approximately equal to a half h and it's going to be y0 plus y1, which is going to be equal to a half times pi, h is pi, and y0 we've got here is 1.0986 plus uh, y1, uh, which is the final value, which is going to be plus 0. So when we work that out, we get ourselves the answer 1.72 um, 6 to 3 decimal places. Now, if we were doing two strips, our h this time would be pi take away 0 over 2, which is pi by 2. So with two strips, our area is approximately equal to a half h, y0 plus 2y1 plus y2, which is going to be equal to a half times h, which now is pi by 2. And y0 is going to be 1.0986, 2 times y1, is going to be uh, 2 times the value of pi by 2, so it's going to be plus 2 times 0 0.69315, and it's going to be the final value here, which is 0. So we work that out on our calculator, 0.5 times pi over 2 times 1.0986 plus 2, 0 0.69315, and we get ourselves the answer for that one, 1.952 to 3 decimal places. 
And lastly, if we did, let's just underline these to show what we're doing. Lastly, if we did, um, how many strips does it ask for? Four strips. Okay, our h this time would be pi. Take away zero all over four, so it would be pi by four. And our area would be approximately equal to half h, y zero plus two, y one plus y two plus y three plus what y four is going to be equal to, which would be a half times pi by four, and then it's going to be equal to two times these lot multiplied together plus these two. Okay, so it's going to be 1.0986 plus zero for the two n two, plus two times uh, these ones added together. So 0.9959, uh, what I'm doing here is I'm adding these three, plus 0.69315, plus 0.25, uh, 25686 and you get for that when you add those together you get 2 times 1.945 1.94591 and uh, you double that you add it to 1.0986 and then you times it by 0.5 and times it by pi over 4 and you get yourself the answer 1.960 to 3 decimal places. Okay, so we have done uh, this part here. So we've done this and we've done this, this and this. It says making your reasoning clear suggests a value to two decimal places for the actual area. Now if we look at what happens when we did one strip, when we had one strip our area was 1.726. When we had two strips where it should be more accurate, it was 1.952. Uh, and when we did four strips, it was 1.960. Uh, now, because things are getting more accurate, you've got to assume that the one is right, because it's one in each case. Um, now it's getting more accurate and it turns to 1.9, and then it's 1.9. Uh, nine here. Now it's getting more accurate here um, than here, so you would have to assume that it's 1.96 to 2 dp because four strips is most accurate. And we'd be done.